Um, hello. hello. Hello, John. Hello. Is that Robert? Yes, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Robert. How are you? Um, well, not, not so good getting over a sort of fluey, fluey cold thing, but thank you, thank you for asking. Uh, so, so, you have some questions for us, is that right, Robert? Um, yes, um, I've been reading the magazines at the cart, and the people have yes. told me to go to jw.org, which is what I've been doing. Um, to reread the articles they told me to look at. But um, one thing I have a lot of trouble with is this claim that Jesus did an inspection and a cleansing work um, right. and that he chose the organization in 1919. Let me just, uh, I don't have the internet at home, but I can, what I do is I scan Watchtower articles yes. uh, and other articles. Um, uh -huh. Right, here we are. It's the Watchtower, the current Watchtower, October 2019, page 5. Okay, let me just have, let me get the same one as yourself. There we go. Early there. Thank you. Right, let's just get on to the magazines. Watchtower, then it's October 2019. Um, I think it's page five. It's below the picture of the brothers in Brooklyn, New York, with a truckload of Golden Age. Uh, the the, the, the Watchtower magazine is actually dated July 2000. Sorry, not July. What month did you say, October 2019, October. page okay, five. 1919, 100, that's it. Yeah. And it's the very last, it's the very last um, article. Um, John, um, do you yeah. mind if I read it? No problem. Yeah, um, by the end of 1919, Jehovah's people were reorganized and energized. Additionally, several, several important prophecies involving the last days had been fulfilled. The testing yes. and refinement of God's people foretold at Malachi 3 was complete. Jehovah's yes. people had been released from their symbolic captivity to Babylon the Great, and Jesus had appointed the faithful and discreet slave. Now the Bible yes. students were ready for the work that Jehovah had in store for them. That's correct. So, so, so what, what, what's, what's the question? Robert? How do we know about the year and how do we know that they were the chosen one, the faithful and the discreet slave? Is that correct? Um, well, what was actually cleansed from the organization in 1919? Because it said that the testing and refinement of God's people foretold at Malachi 3 was complete. And God's people had been released from their symbolic captivity to Babylon the Great. What does that mean, and what does that involve or entail? Well, what, what, like I said in Malachi, it says, "Look, I'm sending my messenger, and he will clear up the way before me." So, so it's talking about Jesus Christ when he the Bible prophecy actually denotes the year 1914 when the kingdom was established in the heavens. And when Jesus was established as king in the heavens, he was looking for an organization. They were Jehovah's Witnesses. He was looking for a group of people that were actually looking to find out the Bible truth because there was so much confusion about what the Bible said on one thing and another. And if I was only one group of people during that time period, 1914 to 1919, that were actually sticking to what the Bible said said that they were looking to the kingdom that was uh, prophesied. Well, Jesus said, you know, in the Lord's Prayer, let's just pray then this way, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Well, it was only the witnesses that actually were looking for the kingdom that, that Jesus said to pray for. All the others started to put their beliefs in the League of Nations, as it was then, after the First World War. And it was only the witnesses that started to leave behind the Babylonian teachings, you know, like the immortality of the soul and, and so forth. The Trinity doctrine, that was another one. We found out that it, it wasn't true. Could, could, could you, and, John, could you, you've mentioned so much stuff, I, I've really lost thread of what you're saying. Um, right. Is it possible just to deal with one thing? Um, okay. 
let's just start over. Um, yes. Right, you said okay. the kingdom was established in 1914. That's correct. Did they teach that in 1919? They said that, yes, that the, the, the kingdom was established. What they thought at the time is, is that they were going to get to go straight up to heaven. No, could, you, even, could, could you give me a reference? Which Watchtower reference states that the kingdom was established in 1914? Could you... That one, I, I haven't got the date offhand. Okay. That was, that was one that was uh, written in the early years, in the 19th about 1918, 1919. In fact, uh, I'd have to look through the archives to, to find right. that one for you, Robert. Right, okay. Um, be because I know that I, at the time they taught the second presence of Christ was 1874. That's in Prophecy, page 65. Prophecy yes. was published in 1929, so 10 years after 1919, they were still yes. promoting 1874 as the date for the second presence of Christ. And Studies in the Scripture, Volume 4, page 604, states that Christ became king in the year 1878. So they did uh, not teach that Christ, Christ's presence was from 1914, and they did not uh, teach that Christ became king in 1914. I believe Rutherford made a verbal statement that the kingdoms of the world have had, this, have had their day in 1914. But, uh, but at the time... If I've got it right, um, the the kingdom of Christ, which, which I don't agree with, but they they taught that the kingdom was set up. Christ became king in eighteen seventy eight, and I'm just thinking, what is this? It says they've been released from their symbolic captivity to Babylon the Great. What's that, John? Right. That that is the teachings that Babylon the Great, the, the religious organisations that call themselves so called Christians, mm -hmm. had the people captive to the beliefs such as that like I said the trinity the immortality of the soul and so forth holidays like Christmas where Jesus' birth was never mentioned or the date was never mentioned in, in the Bible it was probably around September October so it was all of those sorts of false teachings that they were loosened from that they came away from they were freed from in, in the year 1919? No, it started earlier than that. Like you rightly said, in, I think it was in 1874 that they started to publish the Watchtower. No, 18, 1878, nine was the first Watchtower. Right, well, in, in that era. Um, right. They didn't get everything right, but they were searching. They were searching for the truth, the, 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 the meaning of what the Bible says. And the, the light started to get brighter and brighter. And as they found out these Bible truths, they, they disassociated themselves from the religious organisations that believed these uh, spurious ideas. Uh, didn't have a basis in the Bible. It's just, the Bible has got to hold his name 7,000 times, yet um, it's not mentioned. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finding this very hard to follow. John, um, I'm sorry if I'm a little slow. Let's start over. Let's look at another watchtower. This is the 15th uh -huh. of July 2013. Where are you getting your information from, Robert? JW.org. Right, okay. So, so what, what, what's made you research this particular subject? Because this is something that happened a long while back. Um, well, I did do a dissertation when I was at university in the history of the Watchtower by Edmund Track Society. I did a study of the first two presidents after incorporation. Did you ever, were you ever a Jehovah's Witness no. or baptised? No. No. I, no, I was, at, I was at Aberdeen University and I did go to the Kingdom Hall twice to um, make a donation for some literature. I got the Proclaimers book and a couple of other things. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> and I got some older stuff from a book uh, from a book dealer um, at the Kingdom Hall. They introduced me to John Barr's sister. John Barr was oh, a governing okay. body member at the time, and it's That's a, right. quite a privilege to um, be introduced yeah. to his to his sister, who was a very elderly lady there. So, so, what do you think about the Bible teaching that talk about uh, the kingdom being established, paradise coming on the earth? and the, all sickness and death 
done away with. I'm interested in what the Bible says, but I'm very sceptical mm. about what men tell me the Bible says. Well, what, 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 sorry, I, I'm very interested in what the Bible says, okay. but I'm very sceptical about what men tell me the Bible says. That's true. That's why everything that's, that's mentioned by anybody has to be backed up by Scripture. So, so, so what part are you particularly worried about? Um, the 1919 date. Um, let, me, let me read the 15th of July 2013 watch that. This is paragraph 6. Um, so a crucial question needed to be answered. Who amongst these groups were the wheat? To settle that question, Jesus began to inspect the spiritual temple in 1914. That inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 to the early part of 1919. So what I'm interested in, John, is this yes. inspection and cleansing work from 1914 uh -huh. to the early part of 1919. Okay. So what was the cleansing work? The cleansing work was the separation from Babylon the Great. And, and what's Babylon the Great? Babylon is the world empire of false religion. Okay. And that would be things like, you said, the Trinity, Christmas? Yeah, all those sorts of beliefs that are not... That were everybody thinks they're tied up in the Christian scriptures or even the Hebrew scriptures, but they're not there whatsoever. I'm, I'm not saying I agree with that because I happen to be a very firm Trinitarian myself, but um, I'm right. just I'm just trying to understand your so, position. So where do you get that belief from, brother? Pardon? What you because you just mentioned I, to me that you, you don't believe in men, but you believe in what the scriptures say. Yeah, I believe in what the scriptures say. So what, where, where is this? talk about the trinity and the scriptures um quite a quite a lot of scriptures go into the deity so, yeah. of, of, of 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 christ i don't like jumping from topic to topic john i'm quite willing to discuss the trinity on another occasion and just that just the trinity no. but for the yeah, moment i'm, I'm could, yeah. Yeah, I've, no, I've noticed one thing john every time i talk you start talking at the same time and we're not really listening to each other I, I, it's a little bit of a problem no, I mean, you asked the question what the actual, uh, what they separated from. And I've told you what, what they separated from. They separated from these false beliefs. Okay, that's in the year between 1914 and 1919. That's when it started. It carried on way after that. But it, but it doesn't but, say that in the Watchtower articles. Let me, let me read the 15th of July again. That inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 to the early part of 1919. It, it seems to imply that the cleansing work involved a period of time. You see, we're doing it again. Every, every time I start talking in mid-sentence, you, you cut in. Uh, I'm, I'm saying that much, I don't put in, I forgot what you said. <laughs> okay, um, I was, I'll start over. Um, it seems to me that the article is stating that there was a, an inspection and a cleansing work between 1914 and 1918. I, I think I'm right about that. Going back to the Watchtower for 2019, page 5, let me read it. That testing and refinement of God's people foretold at Malachi 3 was complete. God's people had been released from their symbolic captivity to Babylon the Great. So, as I understand this, reading this Watchtower, it seems to say that the testing and refinement of God's people was complete. It was done no, in 1919. That wasn't complete. No, 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 could I just finish my statement? Jehovah's people had been released from their symbolic captivity to Babylon the Great. So, they had right. been released from false teachings of Babylon the Great. And the context for this is by the end of 1919. By the end of 1919, Jehovah's people were reorganized and energized. Additionally, several important prophecies involved in the last day had been fulfilled. The testing and refinement of God's people foretold at Malachi 3 was complete. God's Jehovah's people had been released from their symbolic captivity to Babylon the Great. That's the way I read it. It seems to be saying that there was an inspection and cleansing work between 1914 and 1919 that was completed in 1919. It was never completed. It's, it's going on today, Robert. You read the watchtowers, I mean, we get clarifications on the scriptures about what we have to do, what, what the prophecies say. I mean, it, it's an ongoing thing. 
So this I mean, watchtower, the two watchtowers I've read are not accurate because the cleansing was not completed by 1919. Was never completed, no. So the watchtower is wrong. Then, well, if if you don't believe in your own watchtower, if this current watchtower for this month, October 2019, is false, why on earth should I trust any of it? That's a, what, 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 can I ask you what you're doing with your Sorry? What, what you're doing with your you, You're very mumbled. Can you just say that again? I'm trying to hear you. So, 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 what, what are you doing with I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what this watchtower, the two watchtowers I've read are saying as I understand it, it's saying that the testing and refinement of God's people foretold at Malachi 3 was complete by the end of 1919. Jehovah's people had been released from their captivity to Babylon the Great. Right. So, so, so that doesn't give you no evidence. I mean, they were released from an organisation that was teaching them false ideas. But being released and getting a complete picture of what they had to do is a completely different thing. So you're reading into something, reading into it, what do you want to get out of it? Right, what, what, what is this Watchtower article saying to me? I mean, could you actually read it? Rather than talk about it, could you actually read it and tell me what it actually says? Because you seem to be saying something totally different to what I thought the, the, the article is actually saying. I'm trying to understand the meaning of those two watchtowers. 15th of July 2013, October 2019. They seem to be saying that there was a cleansing and inspection work between 1914 and the end of 1919. As I understand it, it's saying very clearly that the testing and refinement, can I finish, of God's people was completed in 1919 and Jehovah's people had been released from their captivity to Babylon the Great in 1919. Can I ask you where you got our number from, Robert? The Charities Commission. Right. I mean, do you live in, in Whitefield? Do you live in Manchester? Um, no, no, but uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't get through to a local Kingdom Hall and I don't want to, people to come to my I house don't anyway. Could, I don't believe you couldn't get through to a local Kingdom Hall. There's thousands of them in this country. What part of the country are you from? Um, I phoned up the local Kingdom Hall. I tried to phone them up and there is nobody who answers the, the phone in Newton Abbott. Oh, in Newton Abbott? Yeah, I, right. they, I've, I've rung about half a dozen times and nobody answers the, the phone, even on Sunday morning. I've run. Right. I'm just trying to understand. The, I'm, all I'm trying to do is to understand the watchtower. I, 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 am I right in assuming that Jesus' work know, of, of cleansing and refining work, removing the error of Babylon the Great, was completed by, by 1919? I mean, you, you said I was saying that uh, it's in Devon. Yeah, yeah. I don't go to any religious meetings. I have no desire to do that at all. I'm only interested. I don't want to have my time wasted with 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 meetings. I'm not interested. I only want to understand what the Bible says. I've got the same point of view. I don't want that time being wasted. If somebody tells me they can't get a hold of a congregation when it's hundreds on the M6 all the way up to Whitefield. So so it begs the question: Where do you get? Why did you pick the Whitefield congregation? Well, I just, I just went to the Charities Commission and picked out the first one I could see. Newton Abbott is, a, is, is more local to me, but when I ring, nobody answers the phone and there's no answer phone. So I ring and then I ring again. I ring on Sunday morning, nobody answers the phone. There is a phone, it does ring, but nobody answers it. So I went to the Charities Commission. Look, what was, what was, what was, I'm, I'm finding it hard to even even understand what my own question is. So, what was refined? Uh, I mean, this conversation doesn't seem to be going the right way. Or we believe what we believe. Yeah, and I'm trying to understand that. I'm trying to understand what it is you believe about 1919. Could could you could you speak up? I, 
I can't hear you. Could you could you speak up, please? I can't I can't hear you. Could you please speak up? Are you taping this conversation? No, I'm not tape recording it, no. I don't go to religious meetings. I am not willing to attend any religious meeting at all. I used to go well, to a Baptist okay. church. I left. I'm not interested. All I'm I want is answers to, to questions. I'm simply interested in this 1919 date. I was challenged at the carts. We're doing it again, aren't we? We're both, we're both talking at the same time. Is, is what? Sorry, could you say that again? Is what? I can't go come down to Newton Abbott. If you want to come up here, we can have a chat. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in travelling. I'm not interested in attending meetings. I just want to know what was cleansed from the organisation between 1914 and 1919. Well, all I can say is to go to your local Kingdom Hall and I'm sure they'll explain it to you. Can, can I be honest with you? I don't think anything was cleansed at all. It's all just a cock and ball story. Because you were celebrating Christmas till 1927, you said Christmas was pagan. If you're for right, the Christmas. Never studied, for a person who's never studied, you, you sound very bitter, and you sound as if all you're doing is trying to tear things down and putting nothing concrete in its place. Now I'm just asking. You said Christmas was pagan. It was part of Battle on the Great. So why were they celebrating Christmas till the late 1920s? If Jesus, because, like if Jesus. That, Cleanse the organization in 1919. He obviously, obviously wasn't listening to what I said. That the cleansing wasn't finished in 1919, but it, it carries on to this day. That certain ideas slowly but surely got cleansed out of, of, of the thinking of what the Bible actually teaches. And I, I, I'm going to have to break up this conversation because you don't sound like somebody who gen, genuinely wants to find out. You sound like somebody who's trying to destroy somebody's. So you're saying Jesus did an inspection and a cleansing I'm work saying, in 1919? I'm saying, I'm saying if you want to find out the answer, Robert, go to your local people. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not willing. I'm not willing to do that. Um, I'm not willing to get <clears> this conversation, so I'm going to terminate this conversation. Right. I'm not tape recording this meeting, but I am making a digital recording of this meeting. I know you're recording it. I know quite uh, exactly who you are and what your motives are. Okay. So I'm going to stop this conversation. Don't see somebody at your local kingdom. Okay. All the best then, John.